my channel, I'm Deanna and you're watching Okie D. I wanted to do a really quick update video from my parents' place. Um, so I'd say about three quarters of the plants are here now and I'm not likely going to shift anymore. Maybe um, some of the house plants. So we move in two weeks basically now and um, we've got a few days leading up to the move day where we've already settled and we got the keys and stuff so I'm saving all the fowls. So all the fowls are still back at my place including all the summer blooming fowls, um, the catacetums and mm, a fair few other plants are still back there so I might just move them. The fowls are all in flower um, and it looks amazing and um, I just didn't want to rush too much um, to move them because even as it is like you know we've got a few breakages here. My poor little ZZ plant lost the top of its new growth. I just stuck it in there. I don't think it's gonna Thing it's going to take but anyway um yeah we did have a few little breakages anyway i wanted to quickly quickly give you guys an update out here but also um i wanted to issue a formal apology to my parents <laughs> well a thank you and a sorry um thank you for letting me use this space mum and i'm really sorry please don't have a heart attack when you see this uh because yeah it's a little bit crazy um, so my parents are in and out of Brisbane quite a bit and they're back on Monday for, for the week and um, yeah look it looks a little bit different to when they left it. Um, I also want to apologize to you guys because it's really really windy today this is shot on my iPhone so the quality is not going to be probably amazing um, but definitely the sound it's going to be a bit windy uh, and it was a really bad day to move <laughs> these orchids because like it's actually settled down a bit but it was so windy before and i'd water plants and put them down here and they'd spill over get knocked over it was it was tough jared helped me quite a bit um so there's actually no real uh, rhyme or reason to how this is set up at all we just wanted to get them up on the shelves watered um, and go back home and do what we need to do at home this is also probably oh let me get out of the wind a little bit of a wake-up call to me um, to get Project Shade House underway like ASAP as soon as we move and before little Bob comes along because they're gonna be such hard work um, for a first-time mum uh, so an automatic watering system of some sort is going to be very very useful um, but anyway in a shade house like if I set it up in a way that I can actually hose these plants down it's also going to be extremely helpful so yes that's something definitely i'm gonna to have to work on as soon as we move and excuse the wind cherry baby here has one random spike here happy a petal and philip and nancy it's bringing out this beautiful flower bud that's very exciting so it is a flower spike, um, but this is a multi-floral plant, so that should develop into a few flowers. We've got lots of sheets there on my um, Lelia tenebrosa cross with Millerai. I think I've got four sheets there. Pretty random shelf over here. We've got a single bud on my Copper Queen. And this dendrobium got moved, it was over there on that shelf, but I found it on the floor when we got here, blown over by the wind, probably just today. But it's got four spikes developing there. This one has been in constant growth and bloom for the last 12 months. So yeah, and it's getting into quite a big plant. This shelf here is very random. Um, we just basically filled it, um, but it's got got everything on there. It's got oncidiums, it's cat layer, um, I think some random seedling phalaenopsis, there's a near near Phoenicia up there, a bobophyllum. So I don't think there's anything too significant going on there though. And um, this is the big Ancelia africana. It had quite a bit of scale on it which I cleaned off before we came but very likely um, I'll continue to have some problems with it until I treat it properly with something um, but yeah, I didn't see 
any blooms on it. I don't know when it's actually supposed to bloom, but it's quite a big plant, so I would have thought it's blooming size. Anyway, I did see like a new growth that's developing down there. And what else on this shelf? Um, this little one is just going out of bloom. The beautiful purple blooms. Um, this is Dendrobium Black Mountain crossed with Kamir's creation. My psychopsis is here. I'm very glad that that, that glass mic has remained intact. I haven't inspected this one properly for a while. It gets really clustered down the bottom. This flower spike hasn't done anything since it first bloomed, I think back in March. I think there is a new growth though. Can you see that? That's a little new growth coming off of there. I don't think this will develop another flower spike. It was just too neglected over, over the winter period and dried out considerably too many times. So these plants are actually all getting watered a lot more consistently than they were at my house. So this shelf here is also very random. I have a couple of things to show you, I think. We moved this little plant today and uh, it didn't grow any basil growths, it just grew keikis. In fact, I, I am not a big fan at all. This will just end up as a lopsided plant. So I'm going to take these keikis off, actually. I don't know, they should be easy to remove. They're developing their own little root systems now. Usually just remove them by giving them a little bit of a twist. I think I'm just going to plonk them here and if they live they live and I will pot them up when I get to the new place but yes I'm gonna remove all these keikis. I really just want basil growths to be honest. Um, this has happened to a few of my epidendrums. I'm just not a big fan of keikis especially when they develop at the tip. This will just end up as a big lopsided plant um, which is not great for you know growing in the home in pots and stuff so um, this one hasn't been repot either since I got it so I'm just very keen to get basil growths maybe if I remove the keikis it'll be more inclined to, to grow some basil growths and then I can pot a couple of these ones up and give them away to you guys anyway I'll remove the rest of those later after I finish filming what else is happening here? A little flower spike on Oncidium Heaven Scent Redolence. And down on this bottom shelf I've got some frags, a little bulb of film there, but something a little bit exciting. This frag sorcerer's apprentice has just grown and grown and grown since I got it. But look at that, I think we have a flower spike developing. This Frag Sorcerer's Apprentice had been on my wish list for a really long time and I got this um, about a year ago um, from Gabrielle and it was a very impressive looking plant even then. It's done exceptionally well. Um, it's, it's just grown like, you know, a crazy root system. Um, it's very, very, very thirsty and um, when it dries out I will see it lose a leaf. Lucky it's got a lot to lose but um, yeah, that's a very exciting thing to see and it's grown so many new growths in the time that I've had it, like easily at least 10. It's continuing to grow more and more all the time. So hopefully I will see more than one flower spike on this. And the last little section here, I did notice Dendrovium berry odor. It's just got one little latent spike developing there. Where was this one? what I had, oh yep, there we are, a little spike developing on Miltonidium Bartley Schwartz. How does a Miltoniopsis grow on like developing growth? This is a mature growth, so a little bit different to a pure Miltoniopsis. Down here, this is um, another Latoria Dendrobium. This is um, Wanda Nishi crossed with Norman Bietzi. And I thought I saw the beginnings of a flower spike. So it bloomed last year, but that was probably um, a few months after I actually got it. Do you guys see a little flower spike developing there? It had two flower spikes last year, so hopefully it develops a couple this year as well because it's grown quite nicely. And last of all, beautiful Wanagar apple blossom has just opened up her first bloom. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Got a few more buds developing there. 
had quite a nice bloom count last year. Maybe not as big this year, but I do have a second flower spike developing there. So that should be quite lovely. No fragrance on it yet. Well, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully I don't get into too much trouble from my parents. Oh my God, I'm 36 and still causing my parents grief. Anyhow, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more orchid videos. I do hear that YouTube is being a little bit funny with um, notifications, so make sure you hit that notification bell as well if you want to know when I'm releasing new videos. And I hope you guys all have a fantastic week. Happy growing until I see you next time. Bye.